It's wonderful being a surgeon when a patient comes in and they have a problem and you can fix it. You can help them get better and you can help them go home. But it's equally distressing when patients come in with problems that we can't fix. And I think what I'm most proud of and what we're most excited about in the Center of Regenerative Medicine is constantly trying to push that envelope, constantly trying to tackle the problems that, that affect us in the clinic on a daily basis and improve our abilities to, to care for our patients. And one of the fundamental problems that affects children born with congenital heart disease is that many of these children require the need for large uh, reconstructive operations. And in order for the surgeon to complete these operations, they need to use man-made materials in the form of vascular grafts, vascular patches, or replacement heart valves. And use of these materials cause significant problems. So we've developed a better way for making uh, biomaterials for use in congenital heart disease a method in which we can use an individual's own cells to uh, develop tissues that can be, then be used to repair uh, the heart. And uh, use of these materials has the promise to help children born with congenital heart disease. And we're in the midst of clinical trials evaluating the use of these materials uh, in children born with congenital heart disease and comparing their performance to use of the current clinical standard of care. Everything that we do at the Research Institute is focused on advancing best outcomes for children both here in Central Ohio as well as around the world. So our work directly supports and advances the mission of the hospital. One of the things that we've been able to create over the years is a facility that enables us to perform research all the way from the bench to the bedside. On one end of the research spectrum, we do work that's purely computational. On the other end of the spectrum, we have clinical trials where we take our discoveries and apply them to the patients uh, in the hospital. Regenerative medicine, like all branches of medicine, is constantly evolving. One of the areas that we're really excited about is the application of a regenerative medicine approach to the fetal environment. So in our preclinical work, and we've recently begun evaluating the use of tissue engineering in fetal surgery. So we're able to uh, correct small structural defects um, during the development of period, and this can really uh, expand or augment the ability of our ability to care for patients. I think the thing that sets us apart is probably our interdisciplinary nature. The team is, is highly diverse in their training. We have clinicians, we have basic scientists, we have engineers, we have mathematicians, all working together. And it's through this interdisciplinary research that we're able to make the advances that we have been able to. I've been at Nationwide Children's Hospital for about 10 years. I was recruited here from uh, Yale University and I came for a variety of reasons, but probably the three most important for me are one, uh, that this is a tremendous clinical institution. I was really attracted to the fact that it's one of the largest children's hospitals and has a reputation for academic excellence. Two was robust infrastructure. If you look around the campus, it's an extraordinarily beautiful facility. Uh, and we're constantly growing and, and reinvesting in ourselves. And lastly is leadership. We're, we're really blessed with leaders who are always trying to push the envelope and make us better, not only as an institution, but as individuals.